Okay, this video is for the people that don't believe that the liquid PC is real. And you're about to see a demonstration. This is the second liquid PC that I have built. This one has been sitting here running 24 hours a day. I just shut it off for demonstration purposes. But it's been sitting here running 24 hours a day, not going over 110 degrees. You can see the motherboard inside there tubes for the air pump, my temperature gauge which you'll be able to see in a minute here once I get some more light. This is the little case we built for the CD drive and the hard drive. And right here on the back we've got the power switch. I'll press that and we'll watch the computer work. You can see the cooling fan come on inside there and start to move the bubbles around. Now this is an older computer that we did it with, so it's actually running Windows 2000 here. But it can absolutely be done with newer computers. I've done it with a Asus motherboard and an Intel Pentium 4 processor at 3.2 gigahertz, uh, running Windows XP with no issues as well. I've noticed that the size of the motherboard comes into play a lot, especially when finding the right container to go ahead and put it in. The micro ATX boards seem to be better just because they take up so much less space. Uh, while you are limiting it, there's not much that you're plugging directly into the board that you're going to need to use. And so you can see that this computer is up and running now. It's loading all its fun stuff. I'll go ahead and switch the light on. and get right in here so you can see this temperature gauge it won't focus well I know how to fix that there it is and you can see that it's been running at 110 degrees and it runs 24 hours a day the blue lights were my idea yes it looks cool and it's very functional stays very cool I haven't tried overclocking but I'm sure it is very very possible hope you enjoyed it